Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we are learning about a very pretty trigger fish, one that has some colorations on it that you can't find anywhere. This is the blue lined trigger fish. Getting right into it, prices on them, you'll normally spend about $60 for a little juvenile, normally upwards of about $80 to $100 if you want a decent size one. They're not the cheapest trigger fish out there. Tank size, so most triggers can grow really big, up to about a foot long in the aquarium if you put them in a large enough one. So by the time they get full size and they actually hit that foot long, I mean you need like a 300 gallon to house a fish that big. But normally, whenever you get them, they're about two to three inches long, and you'll need about 120 gallon to take care of them. But just realize he might outgrow that tank, and you'll have to upgrade. Pair level, super easy trigger fish to get, super easy to take care of. They're really good about eating right on the spot, and they're pretty healthy. They stay pretty good. Temper, they are very aggressive. They're not as aggressive when they're younger, but they've been known to get really aggressive as they get older, so you'll definitely want them to house them with other fish that can hold their own with him. Reef safe, so triggers aren't really big on picking at corals. The main problem with them is they eat your cleanup crew, like your starfish, your snails, your hermits, shrimp, anything like that. They're going to peck them off fast. They're going to eat them up, so you basically will not have a cleanup crew in your reef tank. Uh, so most of the time, it's not really the best idea to put them in your reef tank. Plus, they'll go after your other smaller fish. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. All that's basic for them. Max size, like I, like I said, most of these triggers get about foot long eventually over the years. Colors on him is what everybody loves. He has that yellow body with the crazy blue lines going all over him. And as he gets older, his body continues to get more covered by those blue lines. So it is very cool if you see an adult one. Diet, of course they are a carnivore, big time carnivores. Most of the time our favorite things to feed them is clams on the half shell. We just chunk them in there straight from the freezer and they go down there and have at it pecking on them trying to get that clam off of there and then another good one is to feed them shrimp so like some basic just raw shrimp from the grocery store origin so they do come from sri lanka so a lot of times you'll see they're out of stock in a bunch of places they're kind of hard to get compatibility you know just ask down in the comments i would house them with other pretty tough fish as a juvenile whenever we get them in the shop we tend to house them with other larger tangs and angelfish or other predatory fish like other triggers, porcupine, puffers, different fish like that. Ones that he can look at and be like, nah, this isn't a snack. So make sure with this guy you do have plenty of rocks and caves for them to swim around in. A lot of times if they get frightened or whenever they sleep, they like to lock themselves up in a cave. up uh, Sometimes even upside down. And they will just stay there until the morning comes. So if he is doing that, don't freak out. He's just doing his thing. And so these guys are big time on rearranging the rock and the sand at times, looking for food. So if he's blowing around sand too much, you definitely want to watch your filters and making sure they're not getting too stopped up from this guy. Other than that, I think we pretty much hit on everything you need to know about the blue line triggerfish. They're very easy to take care of, but they can definitely be aggressive and they do get pretty large. So hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see y'all tomorrow.